Good evening, Kelly Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 62. Marty Miller coming to you from today in Burnham, Texas, at my wife and I's investment property. And if you guys ever need somewhere to stay, please let me know or do a search for Bungalow 1409 on Instagram or Facebook, and you can get the information there if you'd ever like to stay with us in the amazing city of Brenham. Today we're talking about um, referrals. So I'm gonna show you today how to add an outside referral to one of your transactions. And then tomorrow I'll show you how to do an inside referral. So an outside referral, you're paying an agent that is not in your brokerage. So we're gonna go to opportunities. And I have a test opportunity set up here under buyers. And we're just gonna click on that opportunity. So this might be an opportunity that you had gotten in. You have offers, you have actually moved them into uh, the under contract stage. And so you have commissions lit up because you have accepted an offer. So you're in the commissions tab and you're gonna go through here and fill this out. We've done a previous video on how to fill this out. And yet if you wanted to do an outside referral, you're gonna to need to come down to the very bottom here of this commission screen and click on add item. If you click on add item, you can choose the type of item that you're adding. And we're gonna come down to outside referral. And you see, as soon as we click on that, we get the information that we need to fill in for this outside referral. So what was the percentage? If I put in 25%, it'll calculate it. Um, we could do a flat fee. I told them I would do a $500 referral fee and it does the percentage for me. So you can see I can fill in either one of these two boxes and it'll auto populate the other of the two boxes. In addition, we're paying an outside referral. Typically we need a W-9 from that brokerage. So in that case, that W-9 would have the EIN number for the brokerage. And so we would put that information here. We would then put in the broker's name, the broker company name, the agent that we're paying that outside referral to, and then where does that check need to go? So the address, postal code, city and state, and then the agent's contact information just in case we have any questions with regards to that actual referral. So if we were to put that in, and let's just see what that looks like. Let's say we were paying Keller Williams uh, Premier and we were paying Annie Agent and that's at 123 Main Street and let's just say that was in Katy, Texas and the phone number for the agent and there's Annie's information. So we've got that all filled out and next we can click on add. You can see the referral fee was a flat $500. Once we click on add, you can see it's gonna start updating in this top right hand corner, the commission summary. And shortly we should see that outside referral update and adjust the numbers that need to be paid. So you can see now there is an outside referral that comes off the top and then you can see the rest the royalty and the company currency is then calculated. I'm not capped in this scenario. So you can see I get paid this amount. The pay to office amount is the amount that goes in for company dollar and royalty. This pay to office, you're also calculating in that outside referral, but obviously that's not going to be paid to your office. It's going to be sent out as a referral check. So that is essentially how in a real estate transaction that you are doing within command, you can add an outside referral. So again, get into your commissions tab, come down to the very bottom, click on add item, and you can do an outside referral by clicking on this last button. I'll show you inside referral tomorrow. So that way you are well versed on how to do referrals within the commissions tab and uh, get ready for September 15th. Guys, hope you're having all having a fantastic weekend. As always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.